I've already showed you one way you can tether a camera to a computer using USB 2.0 cable and in a studio environment to take um, pictures. I'm also going to show you another way uh, you can use it in Lightroom 5. Okay, here we are in the uh, uh, Lightroom 5, uh, which is opened up. Um, we also have, uh, have our uh, Canon T3i Rebel hooked up by USB cable uh, to the computer. And so we're going to go ahead and tether it now. And there's a tethering option, which is uh, right here, tether capture. We're going to start that up. Uh, brings up a dialog box. Now, some of this I set up earlier. Um, the name of the test session or the uh, session. Here, if you have any templates pre made, you can uh, use those. Um, where you're going to store the photos, uh, I have it in media. And any metadata you want to add before um, the session, we're going to go ahead and click OK. You have a box that comes up at the very bottom right here. Now obviously, you got to make sure that your camera is recognized right here. If not, it says camera not connected or some error message here. Uh, you can see all your different settings, ISO, um, your st different stops, and so on. I have the camera set to auto. I didn't have time to set everything up manually. And here you can also apply presets before you take the photo or you can do it afterward as well and keep note on all these camera settings you can't um, do that from the computer you have to set it uh, from the camera first before you take your pictures and another, another negative is you get absolutely uh, no preview window before you take your photos which is kind of a big neg negative vice the uh, Canon EOS utility you can actually get a live preview before you take your picture so you can make sure it's centered and so on okay we're gonna go ahead and uh, if I can find my uh, cursor I lost it there we're gonna go ahead and press the center button to take a picture and it directly imports it into Lightroom 5 and it usually takes a couple of seconds and we're showing it right here oh wow this first one actually turned out pretty well. And uh, so that brings it automatically straight into Lightroom. I don't think it records it on the flash card. I'm not 100% sure. So this would be great for if you're in a studio environment. Uh, of course, there are some cleavits, which I just mentioned. So um, you can also decide which one would be uh, better for you. The EOS can utility, of course, Lightroom 5.